Welcome to the El Paso International Airport. We proudly serve West Texas, Southern New Mexico, and Northern Mexico. This is a guide for first-time flyers and those who are not familiar with the process for air travel. Plan ahead. Before you come to the airport, there are a few things to keep in mind. Packed with security in mind, don't bring things that TSA won't allow. Prohibited items include liquids, gels, aerosols over 3.4 ounces. For more information, please visit tsa.gov. If possible, print your boarding pass prior to arriving at the airport. Check the status of your flight either on the airport's website or your airline's website. Arrive early. Generally, it's best to arrive at least two hours prior to your flight's departure time. If you're not flying to one of our non-stop destinations, your trip will have two parts. You will fly from El Paso International Airport to another airport. At the next airport, you will board another plane and fly to your final destination. The second plane is called the connecting flight. You may have to wait an hour or more for your connecting flight. This is called a layover. At the El Paso Airport, you'll first visit the ticket counter. Here is where you can check your baggage to be stowed under the cargo hold of the plane. You will also be given a boarding pass. You should not need to visit the ticket desk again. Please make sure you do not leave your bags and other belongings unattended at any time while in the airport. This is your ticket and you must keep it until the end of your trip. You will need to show it to a TSA officer at the security checkpoint. You may need to show it to an airline agent if there is a change in your flight schedule. You will board by group, found here. Your boarding pass will indicate which gate you will depart from, your departure time, your destination, and your seat number if that airline gives you an assigned seat. Southwest Airlines does not give a seat number, they gave you a boarding position. Boarding passes from different airlines will look different, but they will have the same information. Then you will proceed to the security checkpoint to go to the boarding gates. Occasionally, you may see canine teams working around travelers and will notice the reconfiguration of checkpoint lines to allow for passengers to walk past the dogs. If you see the canine team at work, follow the officer's directions. Move through the line one person at a time and continue walking unless you are told by an officer to stop. There is one line for general screening unless you have enrolled in TSA pre-check. Wait for a TSA agent to check your travel and identification documents. They will provide you with further instructions. You will then place your personal items on the conveyor belt for screening and proceed through a walkthrough metal detector or a body scanner. Please make sure you don't have any prohibited items and that your pockets are empty. Prohibited items include liquids, gels, and aerosols over 3.4 ounces. You can bring empty water bottles through and fill them on the other side. For more information and travel tips, please visit tsa.gov. You only need to be searched once for your trip. Generally, you will not need to show your travel and identification documents except your boarding pass after this process. During peak travel times, the line for the security checkpoint can take some time. Please remain patient and follow all instructions given by a uniformed TSA officer. There will be television screens with flight information throughout the airport. They are labeled for arrivals and departures. You will look for departures. The screen will display information to match your boarding pass, including the destination, city, the airline, flight number, departure time, and current status. Gates and flights can change unexpectedly. Refer to these flights displays for the latest information. They may look slightly different at different airports, but will have the same information. If you have any questions, you can ask the airline's agents. Find your flight number and check the gate number. You must go to the gate to board your plane. There will be signs to show where your gate is located. When you locate your gate, check the information posted there to see if there are any changes to your flight. If you are traveling with a small child, you can request to be pre-boarded at the gate's counter. This means that you can board before most other passengers. When entering the jet bridge, give your boarding pass to the agent. They will scan the boarding pass and return it to you. Try to keep your boarding pass until you complete your entire trip. If at any time you have any questions or need help, 
you can ask the airline's gate agent. The seat number will be displayed just above the seats. Find your seat listed on your boarding pass. Southwest Airlines does not have assigned seats, so you may choose any seat. Your bags can go to the upper compartment or under the seat in front of you and must be completely clear from the walkways. Your bags should be stored during takeoff and landing. There is a small bathroom in front and at the back of the plane. You can use it when the buckle up sign is not lit. It is best to keep the seatbelt buckled throughout the flight, even when the fastened seatbelt is not lit. Depending on the length of the flight, the airlines may offer complimentary soft drinks, juices, and water along with a small snack. Some airlines may offer meals or alcoholic beverages for sale. A menu listing will usually be available in the seat back pouch located in front of your seat. We hope you have a pleasant and safe journey and we want to thank you for flying ELP. For more information, please visit flyelpaso.com.